Ah yes, a nice view. We're at the sea again and it's freezing cold. It's like, there was like a one minute break in the rain. And it's probably going to last for like five minutes. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's what's happening here. And I had to take Nero for a walk now because, I mean it's Sunday, okay. Um, I take him for a walk every single day of the week, but today I was tempted not to because it was raining so hard. Everything's wet. I don't know, everything is just... It's, it's miserable weather. And um, I've got a Starcraft tournament to shout cost in a few minutes. Um, and Nero's not cooperating very well. He's just not walking very nicely today. He's had cabin fever, you know. He just wants to get out. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really bad. The weather's been crazy. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. And uh, the Starcraft tournament's been fun. We did yesterday the Swiss rounds. Today we start in the single elimination. There are some really... Sorry, I'm frozen here. I'm busy freezing. It's like minus five. It's not minus five. It's like... Uh, let's go this way. Come, boy. Let's show you the, the view from the cliff parts here at the front of the cliffs. <laughs> front row seats. Okay. No. Um, but there are quite a few good players. Uh, I uploaded a game between Goody and Nibby. Nibby is one of the local players. Goody being an international superstar. Um, look at the nice view. It's very nice. That's town. I think I've said this before in a previous vlog. Like the shops and the uh, the big shops and stuff. Like the, the middle of town is over that way. Um, on the front of the sea there's just a bunch of like apartments and uh, and flats and hotels and stuff like that. That's obviously where they want to be. That's Primus real estate right there. Nero just wants to go hunting on the, on the cliffs here. If I didn't hold him then he would probably be running down there like chasing the wildlife. And then over that side is the harbour and all the rich people live along the front here. Like the really rich people. Because um, these are all big houses. But they're mostly guest houses. Look at the water jumping up there. Nice. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's like generally it's pretty safe walking here. I don't know, I'm just telling you a bit about it because I'm not right here. Generally it's pretty safe walking here. It's pretty cold because there's always a chilly breeze blowing here. I mean, you might be thinking, okay, there are blue skies behind you right now. How cold can it really be? It's pretty damn chilly. Uh, we're going to carry on walking this way. Come, boy. This way, boy. Nero is a botanist. He has to sniff every single plant. You know what a botanist is? Someone that works with plants. Um, I had to do a twirly spin there to untangle myself. But anyway, so there are a bunch of guest houses on the front here. I think, actually, like, I would say... 50% of these houses are guest houses just because they like generally if you have a plot on the sea here then it just makes more sense to turn it into a guest house because you can offer like your little nice little rooms of the sea view here for ridiculous prices like hundreds and hundreds of rands per night so generally people tend to do that around here um, nah. except for the really rich people that don't really need the money so they just go and build the house there and come here once a month to just enjoy their sea view for a day or two ha! Huh. Okay. <laughs> the sea's not actually so rough today. Um, it, to me, it looks like it's low tide at the moment, and uh, yeah, the waves are tiny compared to like two days ago. It was it was really it was like the perfect storm out here. Okay. <laughs> yes, I felt like George Clooney. <laughs> I didn't look like George Clooney though. Oh, damn! Look at that. There you go. Some water splashing. I hope you got that. I don't know. In your 30, 360p definition. Anyway, I'm just trying to keep Nero on the move here because uh, there was a guy with two little, like, fluffy dogs behind us. And uh, Nero, he's, he's an incredibly sociable dog, but he's too sociable for little dogs like that. He, like, tries to play with them and then he just, like, sort of bullies them around in the process. And, uh, yeah, that's not acceptable. I know the lighting is really bad here, forgive me. I should probably be doing it like that. I should do it MySpace style. <laughs> uh, no. Anyway, I haven't actually said anything that I wanted to say yet. I've been talking about cliff paths and perfect storms. Um, so, uh, I read a lot of a lot of people actually now posting stuff about that Bull S978 or whatever, Husky, and that's obviously going to attract a lot of attention. Um, uh, I don't know, I think Total Biscuit said like he's not going to post about it, but like a lot of big people are posting about it now, and people are obviously getting like the word spread, so I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of votes on that on that thing that everyone's linking around there and people are they're thinking about it but anyway unimportant um the daily deals on steam are amazing i should probably make videos like total biscuit does giving my opinions on what's going on with the daily deals but i'm probably not going to it's just like i don't know people don't really care about my opinion about games like that 
Um, personally, the Half-Life Pack, I'll tell you now just for quick quick sees. Half-Life Pack is amazing value for money right there. Um, I, I bought episode 1 and 2 this morning because I didn't own them. had played them before on someone else's Steam account, but uh, I didn't own them for myself. It was like $3 for both of them, so why not? Uh, other than that, like I'd say the Bioshock is cool, but I already own Bioshock 1 and 2. Um, nice view here. There are no people out here now. That's why I came to walk now as well, because like, I know I can walk all the way without any hindrance and vlog all the way without any hindrance. Um, the Bioshock was cool. What else was there? I can't even remember. It slips my mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, Magicka pack. That was good. Clowns vs. Zombies was good. I don't know. The daily deals are amazing. Every day there's at least one or two games that you probably want to buy, which is terrible. Steam is... Valve or... Gah. I don't like them anymore. They're way too... They're way too clever. Okay. So, uh, you can have a bit more of a view there quickly. So, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to try, maybe I'll record Lumen Weekly now, but I might possibly record it a bit later. I hope you can hear me, the scene is very noisy here. I might only record it after the tournament, and if, that's po if I do that, then it'll only be up, like, when I go sleep, I'll upload it. So, like, I will, I, I, I'm not going to forget about Lumen Weekly this week, don't worry, okay? Don't, please, just stop worrying, because I know you are. I can see you frowning over there already. I can see you frowning, I'm, I'm sad about that. And uh, I frown all the time, actually. I'm going to get crow's feet and wrinkles before I'm of a ripe old age, just because I frown so much. Yes, that's what happens. Anyway, so don't, don't worry about that. It's going to come. It's, it's going to be there near a sniffing holes. He's a hunter. Low battery. I need to press that button. Dismiss. Get out of my screen. Um, so just don't worry about Lumen Weekly. It's coming up. Other than that, I'm going to upload a few more StarCraft games. Sorry about the guys that don't like StarCraft very much, but I'm sure there are quite a few of you that sort of appreciate it. Oh, and sorry about Siege's mic. Like, my co-caster in that thing um, in Polar Fluke July Zerg. I couldn't even say the name anymore. I've said it too much. And then my lips are too cold. They're going to be frozen soon. Anyway, sorry about... Look at that nice house over there. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I wish I could live there. Man, it's a guest house. It says guest house over there. Anyway. Um, it's big. Wow. And they got an indoor swimming pool. I can see it from here. So, uh, sorry about his mic because like, I can't obviously help what he does with his mic. But um, I gotta say that like, he, he might not be as like, serious about it as me. So, I said like quite a lot there, didn't I? Damn. I'm going back to the teenage years. Okay. So, he might not be as serious about it as me. So, maybe he doesn't have the money or maybe he doesn't want to put out the money right now to buy a new mic. But sure, like, I suppose if you're doing this every month then it just makes sense okay let's go it just makes sense to uh, get a proper mic sure there's a car coming dun 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 sit look how nice he sits just wait boy I'm swapping camera hands quickly he's waiting for a cookie I'm looking for my cookies I know where they are my boy here you go there we go okay you just witnessed Nero uh, Nero's prestige training in action he's actually a pedigree dog don't let his looks disguise you he knows what he's doing he knows where he came from. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know either of those things. Uh, he's actually quite well trained, but at the same time, he's very excitable, so it's difficult to get him to obey sometimes. No. It's okay. He's a, he's a kid. He's still like, he's only a year old. So that's fine. I'm, like, I'm happy with how, he's, how well we trained him so far. He sometimes doesn't listen when he wants to look at drain pipes like that. But anyway, so I can't help about the mic really very much. I'm going to suggest to him that he gets a new mic, because I'll just show him your comments, and then you'll be, he'll be heartbroken. I mean, the guy, like you guys, will say, oh, I'll commit suicide if I have to listen to it again. No, no, he'll commit suicide if he reads those comments. Well done, guys. No, I'm joking. No, he won't. He won't. He's a tough guy. He's like an MMA fighter or something, okay? <laughs> uh, and you insulted him. Yeah, shame on you. He's going to come beat you down, put you in a... Or arm lock or whatever those things are called. I'm not, I don't know wrestling at all. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me trying to listen, trying to list wrestling terms here. Okay, so this was a very long vlog for no reason at all. I shouldn't have been talking this long. We're walking down the road here. There's one of the richest people in Armanus in the town. Uh, his name is Harry Fulyun. That's his house. I think his wife lives there. I don't know what happened. Okay, I don't know the whole story, but that's one of the biggest houses, one of the most fancy houses in the whole town. Thought I'd just give you that before we leave. So. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna leave now. Nero and myself. He's eating grass. Come boy, that's enough now. <laughs> you can have grass at home. We've got lots of it at home. Lots of good grass. This is obviously the quality stuff over here, not like seafront grass. 
Now he wants the rubbish bag, he's not going to get it. Okay, thanks for watching. Check back here soon for more vlogs. Check back here soon for more StarCraft stuff. Lumen Weekly later tonight only. Some other stuff today perhaps, like Alice, maybe some Terraria later. I've got a Lumen Ladder game coming up. Um, whatever, stuff like that. I'm working on some other stuff this month, but it's like, oh, well, this weekend, but like uh, with Polar Fluke this weekend, I can't, I can't do that much other stuff. It's just, it takes up so much time now. I have to do twirly around the pole. Nero's is pulling me across the road here. Such a commanding little boy, really. <laughs> I like it. He's good. Okay. Sit. Sit. Okay. Now wait. You want to see another trick? Eh? Okay. Boy. Talk. Talk. Good boy. You like his tricks? <laughs> I love his tricks. He's so good. Okay. So, once again, it's, it's been a pleasure having you for this long, for 11 minutes! Get out of my life already. Um, happy, happy Nero talking to you guys.